Hi there, and welcome to this comprehension exercise on Ruby Bridges. Uh, this is Year 6 English, so let's read this together. So Ruby Bridges was born in 1954, and when she was six, she was the first African-American child to go to a school with white children in Southern America. So let's have a look at schools for only white children. So before 1954, black and white children had to go to separate schools. Even though it became law for black and white children to go to the same school, it took a few years for it to happen. And even then, there was a lot of trouble. When Ruby was in nursery school, she took a test to see if she could go to the school for white children. Ruby's father was worried what would happen if she went to the white school, but her mother was sure that it would be better for Ruby's learning. Many people think that the test was made hard so that not many children would pass it. However, in 1960, Ruby and her parents found out that she had passed the test, so they made plans to take her to the white school. Let's have a look at the first day at school. So people expected there to be trouble for Ruby when she started at William France School. So to keep her safe, she was driven and walked into school by four American police officers called U.S. Marshals. At school, there were lots of people who were shouting rude names and throwing things because they did not want African-American children coming to the white school. There was so much trouble that the white children stayed at home, so there were no lessons on that day. A famous painting was done by Norman Rockwell of this famous day called The Problem We All Live With. In the first year, so even though Ruby kept going to school, only one white teacher agreed to teach her, and she was called Mrs. Henry. The other parents even kept their white children away from Ruby. So for a whole year, it was only Ruby and Mrs. Henry together in one classroom. Thankfully, after the first year, white children started to return to Ruby's class, and she did not need the U.S. Marshals to take her to school. She found the first year very hard, and knew that children did not want to play with her because of the colour of her skin. So what happened next? Ruby went on to finish high school and work as a travel agent. She had four sons and is now a civil rights activist, which means that she does anything uh, she can to make life fair for black and white people together. In 2014, a statue of Ruby was placed outside William Franz School. In 2001, she was awarded a medal for, from President Bill Clinton, and in 2011, she looked at the Norman Rockwell painting with President Barack Obama, and he said to her, I think it's fair to say that if it hadn't have been for you guys, I might not be here, in other words, as president. What a courageous young lady Ruby Bridges was. Um, she was so brave to go into that school. The first black person in America to go to a white school when there was so much opposition and so much hatred for her to mix with other people. And it's personalities like this that are great role models for all young children and definitely worth a read. Um, so in this case, please do answer the following questions and we'll review this topic in our next lesson. Good luck.